Thank you, Stephanie. Joanna Connolly back from Business in Vancouver this hour. We're talking about um, small businesses and what it costs for them to rent their commercial space. Now, yeah. we ran a story not too long ago about a, a little coffee shop, very popular with parents. Yes, mm -hmm. and, uh, and it's the same place that I'll use as an example mm -hmm. here. So small business owners are really calling for the BC government to put in place rule changes that stop landlords from dramatically increasing um, their commercial space rent uh, prices. Right. So, uh, yeah, um, they're saying that um, oh, uh, there's an example here for Little Ness Coffee Shop, which right. has been quite a high profile case. It's mm -hmm. closing. Um, it's uh, now 6,500 um, and that's gone up from 2,900 rent that was set in um, in 2007 when right. they negotiated the lease so they they can't afford to stay there so more than um, double in more than six double years, yeah. yeah it's uh, really a lot and um, it's other small business owners are saying that this really you know is incredibly unfair mm -hmm. these small businesses are trying to um, make a living they're trying they're benefiting the local economy they're employing local people there really should be rules in place that uh, make landlords unable to do this do the la landlords they think they can get tenants in who would pay that well they do I guess and they must. yeah and opponents of of this call say you know it flies in the face of free enterprise landlords should be able to charge what they want it's their space mm -hmm. um, but uh, small business owners obviously feel pretty differently right okay uh, so are they getting support from any level of government is there anything that can be done not really um, much support right now mm -hmm. it's normally the Canadian um, Federation of Independent Businesses that uh, lobbies on behalf of small um, businesses mm -hmm. and they say that they are waiting to see whether lots and lots of small businesses come to them and say this is too much of a problem. Mm -hmm. um, so they're kind of biding their time. Mm -hmm. So I would say that any small businesses that are having this problem should be writing to the CFIB right. to get them to lobby on their behalf to the BC government. Right. So at the moment, the CFIB is not seeing a not at the moment, an avalanche but uh, okay. it, it could happen in okay. the future. All right. Thanks very much, Joanna. No you can read more about this story and others on Business in Vancouver's website, biv.com. Mark Madriga. Hello. Hi there.